Welcome to another tutorial by WebNewbie.com. Today's tutorial we're going to be in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to be covering the pencil tool today. So first thing we're going to want to do is go over to our tools panel over here and click on the icon that looks like a pencil. That is our pencil tool, obviously. Uh, then we're going to just show you a couple tricks that you can do with this thing. First thing we're going to do is just draw a line out here, just a little wavy line and the uh, pencil tool can obviously draw wavy lines but what this pencil tool can do also is see these little anchor points that are here it pre-makes anchor points for you on this pencil tool and what we can do with those is we'll grab our direct selection tool here uh, if you've seen my selection tool tutorial you'll know what I'm doing next I'm just click on one of these anchor points here and I can move it around I can reshape it bend it, twist it, do whatever I want with it with these anchor points. It's kind of cool little nifty thing you can do. Uh, then we'll go back to our pencil tool and uh, we'll try and draw a circle really quick. And there's my little circle but as you can see up on top I've got two different anchor points up here and the circle didn't close completely. Uh, well the reason why the circle didn't close completely is because there's an extra thing you need to do in order to do that. If I am going to draw that same circle over here and when, towards the end I'm going to push the ALT key on my keyboard and to the right of my pencil, the, my mouse, my pencil mouse thingy, uh, you'll see a circle there. Uh, well that just means that uh, this path is going to be closed and so if I let go of the ALT key and my mouse you can see that the path has been closed now and now I've got a completely closed circle here Another nifty thing you can do with this is if you're holding the alt key you can try and uh, flatten out jagged edges so let's say let's draw out some jagged edges here uh, if I hold the alt key and I redraw around these edges notice how now it is starting to smooth that jagged edge out down over here you just hold that alt key and you redraw over the line that you made before uh, these jagged edges are a little too jaggy to kind of see a big difference except for right here how I got this U shape right there let's try this one over here I'm going to hold the alt key and I'm going to go ahead and draw over that notice how the top of the mountain there turned more into like a hill now it's more of a smooth line as opposed to a jagged edge uh, holding the alt key you can do that just by redrawing over your pencil shape another thing you can do without holding the alt key is that, let's go back up to the circle here if I start on a path one of these lines where the circle is like right here and I'm gonna end up over here I can redraw this shape I want it to go oh, it didn't work there let's try a little smaller oh I'm sorry you have to select it first so let's go ahead and select this circle here and go back to our pencil tool and then I will redraw that shape and notice how after I redraw this shape it loses the inside line and makes the shape whatever you want to draw it to pretty cool huh? Uh, so now we're just going to go back to our pencil tool. The last thing we're going to show you is the pencil tool preferences. If we double click on our pencil tool, these preferences will show up right here. First thing you'll see is the fidelity right here. Uh, now the fidelity uh, determines how close the path is drawn to your mouse movement. Uh, meaning if you want to set it at a higher fidelity, those are for poor drawers such as myself, we'll raise the fidelity up. Uh, that's going to make it so our lines are more smooth um, and cleaner I guess you can say. Uh, next thing we'll see here is the smooth smoothness here and what this smoothness does is the higher the smoothness the less anchor points it creates but it'll create a smoother line. Uh, so if you want to raise your smoothness up you're gonna have a lot less anchor points uh, like as for instance this one here has got multiple anchor points set all around this one but if we were to raise our smoothness, let me go ahead and OK that. I'm going to draw something out here. Notice how now there's only three anchor points, but notice how smooth this line is. So this circle is a pretty smooth circle there. This one's only got three anchor, four anchor points as well, but it's got smooth lines. Uh, and that is pretty much it. All I'm going to show you with the pencil tool.
uh, you learned how to draw your lines out and check out all the anchor points, how to connect uh, your circle to make a closing uh, end on it, how to smooth out some jagged edges and some uh, pencil tool preferences. Thanks for watching webnewbie.com. Go ahead and check out some more of our tutorials and we'll see you next time.